I got a machine doing for some digging right here. Let's come up here and check out the project. There was a stump there, stump there. All uprooted trees, a real big oak one down there. You had to fire up Instagram to see that one. But this one up here is definitely going to be film worthy because this is a big root ball. What'd you say the length on the remainder of the tree? Hoo, hoo, hoo. So from where Haas is up there at the root ball, not the whole tree length, but what's left of it, property owner, homeowner, it's at 140 feet. I'd say this is kind of like a rare dinosaur patch of trees left over. Some big pines and soft soil mixed with, you know, heavy snowfall. Look at this thing. We'll get the prime tech up here in a second. There's a cave down underneath of it. Get him up there, Boone. Don't jump that way, Boone. Tree itself is four foot diameter, at least. Oh, you need to scrape a bunch of dirt off of this thing so you can cut the log back as far as it can. So we got less stump to grind. on that side of the stump, so we're going to try to move the center piece. We have the prime tech for skidding it, plus it's downhill. We're definitely going to have to be choker. Jurassic Park up here finding dinosaur bones. Why in the world would we remove all the dirt off the bottom of the stump? No, <laughs> oh, you want to get
slack from the winch. Hang on. same thing and we had to bring in a third machine for this same job so let me know if that makes sense to charge even more to bring another machine that we didn't even need
Well, uh, comment below if you guys doubted that we could move these down here. All of them here, downhill, definitely helps. Going uphill, completely different story. It actually takes a really, really big machine to pull something like this up the hill. Self-loading logging truck, he can only put 40,000 pounds on there because he's got a boom and everything. So, uh, four of these, I think it's a three log load is gonna be. So that thing, 13, 14,000 pounds, somewhere in the same, over 10. Let's go up here and look at the stump being gone. That stump is 100% completely gone and turned into mulch that has turned with the dirt. So it's a good combination blended together. A lot of guys, people, anybody, guys, girls, whoever you are, taking care of a stump like this is so much easier and more cost effective. We're not undercutting our rates by doing jobs like this. It still works out perfectly fine for us. We're making good money and the stump's gone. A lot of other companies would bring in, let's say you bring in a 35,000 pound excavator behind a, you know, two axle dump truck. Well, that one stump right there, you can claw on it, poke on it all you want with the excavator to take it to something that can actually be moved around. Let's say it initially started off as like a 20,000 pound stump, high end. All the dirt and everything mixed into it, it very well could be that much. I tear into it, rip a lot of the dirt off of it, and we got a 12 to 15,000 pound stump. Still a super heavy stump. You could rip the roots off and all that stuff. Then you gotta pack it down through these people's yard to a spot where you can put it in the dump truck. Then it might not even fit in the dump truck. Once that happens, you've already extinguished several hours making that happen, getting it down there, hauling your bigger piece of equipment, load it up on there. Now you gotta play, play the pay trucking wages to haul it off somewhere, and then the expensive part shows up, you gotta find a spot to actually dump it. If you take it to your local landfill or whatever it is, then it's still a nuisance they have to deal with, no matter how much they charge you, still a pain in the butt to deal with stuff like that. We don't actually have a landfill here. We have a transfer station, so it'll get moved from there. But right here, we just extinguished the whole problem of the huge stump, and there was four of those on this job and they are all turned into mulch. I mean, there's there's a couple pieces of root and stuff sticking around, but up here, they're not running cattle up here or having a picnic, so it doesn't have to be super perfect, but we'll smooth it out so it looks good from the house. But why we go ahead and grind the stump, sometimes we'll use a stump grinder, sometimes use a mulcher. If you're trying to go under grade, you gotta use the stump grinder. A mulcher head does not subsoil very well, especially in the big caliber stuff, stumps like that. Anyway, I got the excavator loaded up, cut her in that new road over there. She just used it with her little tractor. Worked great. We'll see you guys in the next one. Let me know what you guys think about how we got rid of that. I don't know where these logs are going. There's no market for the big timber, but there's used to be at one point in time, there would have been a lot of value in all these big trees around here. These big trees, if you got an easy spot to drop them and to load them up from, you don't have to do a lot of shuffling with tractors and stuff like that. There's a lot of value that used to be in these big pines, but it just ain't there anymore. It's nice to see some still alive like that. We're not out here just trying to cut through it and cut everything down so that we can make money. You know, a lot of the trees we end up taking down are insurance reasons, hazard reasons, or we're putting in a house. I don't think we've actually done a logging job that was just to make money off the logs. You know, that's bigger scale stuff. Oh, little boy going by. We'll see you guys on the next one. Let me know what you think. Like, comment, subscribe. Later. It's not tight. Tons of room. <laughs>